Hello everyone and welcome to a special, what are we calling this? Rodden Pollock's Juniors. Yeah. Uh, I'm helping her out to our intro, this is entirely her show though, this is Moo. Uh, I am taking Tom's role as the co-host this time, so what do you say Amanda? Say hello. Hello. Where are we fishing? Blythe Pier. No, Blythe Harbour. Harbour. <laughs> yeah, we're at Blythe Harbour. Uh, we're going to do this monthly, are we? So me and Moo are going to bring you a special little monthly series called Rod and Pollock's Juniors where she's going to show you her fishing basically and I'm just going to tag along for the ride and gets me out of a line as well. So we're going to... Uh, we've got my gear set up, we've got our baits in the water. Amanda's trying a first multiplier of the day aren't you? Yeah. But it hasn't went well so far, she's had a little nest. She's got a bait casting multiplier, we're going to keep seeing if we can get it a try on that. But yeah, we'll see what we can get done for you and We'll have some fun, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's wet as well. What are we using? Um, Pulley panel. Pulley panel. What, what fish are we targeting? Um, a little codlin. A little codlin. Right, we're going to have to get this camera put away, Amanda, because the rain, okay? Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, fish, well, we're on in this episode. Um, I'm going to have to say, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Comments down below. Christmas giveaway still ongoing. Remember, high fish activity in the comments on here or on the Facebook group or on Instagram. Um, trust me, check out the other stuff on my channel. I don't really know how much longer we're actually going to stay here, so this might just be a little five minute snip of us fishing because the weather's turning against where it wasn't meant to rain later on and it's just been downpoured on. And the little one's freezing now, so we might have to cut this one a bit short. It's just a little bonus clip for the Facebook or something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But we're going to give it another half hour, do you think? See if we can get a fish in this half hour. If not, I'm going to have to get to it. She's, she's wearing my coat now and everything. She's not happy at all. But yeah, we'll keep it as that, and I might do a little bit, a few bits and bobs in the house. Well, the fishing trip got cancelled, didn't it, Moo? We got hit with a big downpour. Somebody ended up very, very, very unhappy. But on the plus side, we've now been joined by this little monster. Um, we've got some goodies to unbox, haven't we? <laughs> so we're going to un unbox some goodies. <laughs> and then I think we might make some rigs, yeah? yeah. Tie some rigs up. Because I think one of the one of the goodies is going to need it. And he has Leia yeah, throwing a teddy bear in front of the camera. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go and get, uh, get our box, get the camera set up. We'll get my... What goodies unboxed for you? See what we've got. I'll go and get the box. And then we'll uh, get some rigs tied. I'll go and get the box. Why can I not unbox it? Right, come on, come here. We'll just crawl this bit out. <sighs> right. Right, sorry, I'm really crouched down here, but to get this angle forward, unbox it. I'm having to crouch right down here. <laughs> um, but you can see Moo fine, that's, that's perfect. But a box of goodies here. There we go, we'll go backwards. Should I put it down a bit? No, no, just see. So what's in my box of goodies today? Ugh. I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? I'm not one of these gent... We're not going to do one of these gentle boxes where we're like, gently go through it with a knife and a No need for that, is there? Rotten Pogs Jr. It's like kids at Christmas, we just rip it open. So... We have... Oh. Some bags of air. 
some rig winders, which is bigger than I thought it was going to be to fit my box. Some and light 40 tip lights. 20 layers. 20 tip lights. I don't know. I, I don't know how many is in there. I can't remember how many ordered. But that's what unboxing. What are these? These are called rig winders. So now we've got some rig winders. We're going to have to fill them up, aren't we? So we'll have to get some rigs tied. These are Tronix rig winders. Uh, I got it because it was cheaper as out. And I'm sick of using our things. Let's put the box over the other side of the room. Let's have a look at them there, Amanda. Yeah. Well, we'll colour code them for different types of rigs. Oh, look, and you even get stickers with them so you can mark which rig, what rig it is, and length. There are a lot of weights, I don't need that. And these are little. Me. What we do is we we'll put my swivels in there and then go around them and then jab the hook in, I think, somewhere. I don't know, I've never used these. Somebody might tell us I'm doing it wrong, but we're going to give it a try. We'll get some rigs made up and. This is a lot. Yeah, you can speaker. tell them the colours. We've got blue, orange, yellow, uh, green, ready pink, green, and green. Yeah. You know, I always say that I'm not a tackle tart man, but this is very tackle tarty this for me. <laughs> so I think we'll do we'll do a few pulley panels and a few other types of rigs, eh? Yeah, go and get them. Well, I've got the gear up here, so what we'll do is we'll stop the camera, eh? Yeah. We'll point it a bit further down, we'll get a white sheet down so people can see what's going on. And uh, I'll teach you how to make a rig, and we'll teach these kind of people how to make a rig. Yeah. Does that sound good for Rod and Pollux Juniors? Yeah. So we'll catch you in a minute once we've got everything set up to tie some rigs. Right, you see my hands here? Put your hands on the moo. We've got hands. We've both got hands. <laughs> so, what we're going to do here, moo, I'm going to teach you how to make a pulley panel rig. Okay? That's the one that we used down at the harbour that you then bailed out because it got too wet. <laughs> so what we need, some big, I don't know which way it's going to be the right way around, whether that's going to be the right way around or whether that's going to be the right way around. So we'll do it in both ways, eh? just yeah. to be on the safe side. Yeah. Some big size 2 -o Crane swip barrel swivels, that way, and that way. Uh, I've started using these Gemini Genie rig clips. Uh, I only started using them because it's easier to make them than impact clips. But we've got four of them, so we can make four of these rigs. We've got some beads, which I've stole out of your bead set. She's blowing on a hot chocolate because she's freezing. And some some little barrel swivels you can see them in my hand there some little barrel swivels for making snoods and we have the trusty rod and pollock circle hooks fish on these ones are three o's i've also got two o's uh, and we have four o aberdeen hooks uh, I've got some three O's and I might make one with a big five O on the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll start making the rig bodies. I'll teach you how to do the knot, Manda. Yeah. And once I've done the knot, you'll need to go bead, swivel, and pass it back. Even though I know how to do knots, but <laughs> I'll teach you how to do the knot as well if you want to learn how to do the knot. Yeah. So we'll take what it's really hard to do because I'm having to do it upside down. We're gonna take my impact clip here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. We'll have 50 pound Rovex shock leader. That's what I use for, for my rig bodies. It's hard because I'm trying to talk to the camera and trying to teach you at the same time. I've never ever had to do this. <laughs> Let's take a nice length of that. As you can see it. It's hard to see. It's worth to put some white paper down to try and make it easier for you to see. But it's bright green. Sink a clip. Are you watching this time? Yeah. You go through that bit there. Oh, nope. Nearly dropped it. <laughs> Through that there, uh -huh. right? Bring it out. You want a nice little bit there. Uh -huh. Go twist it around the line. How many times? I go for three times. Kay. Back through the loop that you made with the line. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then I go back through again. If you can see that, folks, as well. Three times. And just pull. 
pull it all tight, and then the trusty, I'm going to do it off camera, gob oil. Plenty of spit. Pull it tight. Pull the knot tight. There you go. Nice, neat, clean knot. Doesn't slip away. That's that bit attached. I just bought these from Sport and Leisure the day because I thought I'd left my nail clippers at home. So I'm going to make use of them. Cut the tag end off. And there we go. That's your sinker part done. So now we're going to pull a nice long length of line. About uh, a couple of foot. And do you want to cut this one? Yeah. You can use the nail clippers because I don't trust you with me snippers. Snip. You got it? Just like that. Uh, got it? There we go. I'll move that out of the way. Right. So we've got our rig body. Now, back on camera, it's really quite hard to do because I look at everything back front on the camera. So we take a bead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. A bead goes on. One of your beads, yes, because I don't buy beads, I just steal them off you. I right, now only rub barrel swivels. Well, big crane barrel swivels, they're a lot bigger. I can't, I can't get the hole, can I? Thread that through as well, so that's free running, as you can see. Yep, yeah, free running. And then we get another bead. Another bead goes on, so that's free running. Then we get... A little barrel swivel. Can I see the beads? You can see it in a second when it's all done. You get a barrel swivel. Uh -huh. And same knot. Round three times. Through the hole. It's not showing on the Through the hole. Back through three times. A lot of, lot of old timers will say, well that knot's stupid, it, it doesn't. But this is the knot that I do and I trust it. Don't let anybody tell you different, Mrs. <laughs> spit. Loads of spit. Loads of spit. Get it nicely tightened up. And you can see. And it's not slipping anywhere. It's not going anywhere. You've got my tag end. And you forgot that those nail clippers in your pocket. I know. I would take. I'll cut, I'll cut this off because I don't want you cutting it too close to the knot. Take that off. That's our rig body. And that's about. From there, you can see we've got a free running swivel. <laughs> This swivel is what connects to the main line. Mm -hmm. Then we've got up onto another swivel. And then we're going to tie... Oop, it's off camera, sorry. On the other swivel with nothing on the end. That's where we're going to tie our hook line to. But I think we'll set up a bit of a production line. Yeah, I want to do it now. We'll set up a bit of a production line and we'll make the rig bodies first. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we'll try and keep this on camera. I'll probably move the camera a bit further back so you can... Oop. Oh, it's rusting with all the seawater. Right. It's all the water as well. So, that's one of, our, one of our rig bodies. There it is. What we're going to do is me and Amanda are going to set up a little bit of a production line, make a lot of rig bodies, and we'll get back here when we're doing the snoods, yeah? Yeah. Right. I'll speed it up from here. stage if you can see people uh sinker clip then your pulley bit yeah two beads and yeah other oh, big barrel swivel and at the end we've got my hook snood swivel now normally i wouldn't tie hook snoods on i normally do it when i'm there don't do that manda normally i would tie them on when i'm there but for the sake of being on camera, and now I've got these wonderful rig winders, so we don't need them just yet. Yeah, I'm just... Let's get some snoods on these, eh? 
Now, unfortunately, this is where I have to do this, Manda. Now, for the snoods, we're using 30 pound amnesia line. Yeah? See that? Yes. 30 pound break and strain amnesia line. It's memory free line. You give it a pull and it stays straight. So, where's the end of that gone? Right. Mm -hmm. So, this swivel that we're tied on the end here, mm -hmm. on the other side of that, oh, I've moved this up the other way because I can see it. This is where we tie the amnesia. Now, I, I must warn people, amnesia ties like an absolute pig. <laughs> uh, it's horrendous to tie up. But same knot through three times. Don't want to do that, Amanda. And then back through three times. If you're blowing it. Can you just be quiet? <laughs> Pull the knot nice and tight. Cut the tag end off. Okay. This black line's actually easier to see. There's your tag end there. We'll just nip the tag end off. Now for the rig for the snood, you want it to not be as long as the rig body, and I'll show you why in a second. So we're gonna go for about that. And you'll see why in a second. Now Rod and Pollock's top tip. And Rod and Pollock's Junior top tip as well. Yeah. For your panel hook, we yeah. use circle hooks. Me and Tom, me and your Uncle Tom have worked out mm -hmm. this is a hell of a lot better than no. a normal hook on a panel. That's what I was going to say. We'll get more, a lot more fish using these as our panel hook okay. than we do as using a normal hook. Now, for your panel hook, do you want to say how... This is really tricky, this to help put your panel hook on. You ready, Manda? Put it on and then just let it go. Well, that's not tricky. <laughs> but to save yourself from spiking yourself, what you can do is twist your line around the hook shank a few times and give it a little tug. That locks that in place. Now it doesn't move. Mm. Yep. Good. Now, can you add a hook on the For camera sake, and I'm only going to do this on this rig for camera sake so people can see it, we have. A big 5 -o hook. I wouldn't normally use a 5 -o hook. And it's even on camera still there. It's quite hard to see. Big 5 -o. And you go the same fishing knot as we've done. Round three times. Through the loop. Back through three times. This one I always try to make sure I get through the three because you'll see why in a second. You know they can hear you chomping it. Yeah. Fisherman's teeth, man. Fisherman's teeth. Now, if you look on that knot, see how my tag end, I know it's not very well in focus, my tag end comes straight out the top of the knot. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. That tag end comes straight out the top of the knot. As you can nip it off a little bit closer and your bait slides over the top of it a hell of a lot better. Dad, it flew on to it. Good pull. That's now there. That's fine where it is. And we're free running panel hook. So we're fishing a bait that big. We would then round the shank of the hook out into my finger. Pull it. There you go. That's a panel. Panel snood. And Dad threw that. Now. Is. <laughs> I don't remember what to say. It's alright, Leah. Not to say anything yet. We're going to put our pulley panels on an orange rig winder. <laughs> now, I don't understand how these are going to work. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Can I do the. Pop my hook into there. <laughs> and I'm just going to wind it on. And hope that this is how these work. I don't know. I've never used rig winders. But yeah, it's on. Looks like it's... It probably would have been better if I didn't have the big sinker clip on. But it's on. And it's going in the box.
Right, so there we go, Moo, who's ran away from us, I must say. There we go, pulley panel rigs. The reason why I snood shorter, I probably should have said earlier, is, oh, it's just laughing at us because I keep spiking myself. <laughs> so that when it goes into its little impact clip, it all, oh, it all pulls streamline in its little impact clip. There we go. Now when that hits the water, pops it, and off goes the hook line. Right, well, uh, there you can see I've just made four pulley panel rigs with the help of Amanda. We'll uh, get the camera turned around and we'll think we'll say goodbye, yeah? And then I'm going to fill my rig winders with even more. Right, well, did you have fun helping us tie the rigs? Yeah. As you can see, uh, I'm just an orange. The orange ones. There's my pulley panels tied up. That's four pulley panels that I've made. Plus I've got two in my box. That should keep us going for 10 minutes on the next Robin Pollocks at the rate I lose rigs. I would have done more, but I only had four impact clips. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to do another Robin Pollocks Juniors next month? Or do you want to do another one sooner or what? No, no. It's a shame that we couldn't stay out fishing, wasn't it? No, but we got real. Next month we're going to do it. What are we going to do? We're going to try beat each other. Uh, sorry for the lack of fishing in Rod and Pollux Juniors, but we got hit by a downpour and you'll see on the time lapse she turns very miserable and just cowers on my box till we go home. <laughs> but yeah, um, remember, normal Rod and Pollux every Wednesday, 6 o'clock, apart from in two weeks time when it's going to be Wednesday at 5 o'clock, but that's a to something totally different. I'll explain more on the next Rod and Pollux. Um, yeah, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, follow on Instagram at Rod and Pollock's Fishing. Do you want to say tight lines, everybody? Tight lines, everybody. Tight lines, everyone. <laughs>